Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn Cypress Test Runner in detail. So let's begin. Let's first open the Visual Studio Code and from Visual Studio Code, we would be opening our Test Runner. So we'll be opening Visual Studio Code from here and you need to ensure that you are under the Cypress folder where we actually install the Cypress. Now, how we can open the Cypress so basically in the terminal section you need to provide a command which is npx cypress open so it will open a window for us and this window is basically a cypress test runner and it has a multiple options here so we will start from the left side here first thing is that we can search from all the tests we have written already so for example if i want to search for my assertion tests so here is the file which contains my assertions so you can do this search in your test and if you see here that it contains the integration test so as we discussed earlier that all our tests will be under this integration folder so we can create a multiple folders here we have two folders and under these two folders we have these Cypress test. Now you can also go here on the right side and you can open the test directly from here. So let's suppose if I click on this open in ID, so it will open this test. You can see that this test is open in my Visual Studio code. So you can do this thing as well when you are working with your Cypress test. Then we have this option here, which is called new spec file so for example you want to create a new test so you, you can create a new file from here so you just need to click this one you just need to select a folder and under the folder you need to provide the name of the file for example new test one two three dot spec dot js so that would be the complete extension but you can write till spec it will work so just click on create and you see that at the end it added dot js automatically and again if i go here and click on open in id it will open and we have nothing here and you can see that this file is under this getting started folder now let me go back here and here you can see that we can choose between the different browsers so these browsers are basically being invoked from our operating system so these browser versions are available on my system and cypress has picked up those from my system then we have this support option so if i click on this support option it will take us to the cypress support here you can uh, go through the different documentation you can go to the faq the current bugs in the cypress so you can go through these things these are for your support here then we have a document and uh, here in document you can see that they have provided write your first test testing your app best practices how you can set up the ci how you can run test processes you will get all the information let me click on the best practices here and see what kind of the best practices they have suggested while we are actually creating or developing our test scripts so let it open meanwhile just go back here and let's discuss about the different features available here and then we have this runs so once you have an account, you have a login, then we will discuss about this thing because this is a Cypress dashboard and it contains all your execution and what is happening, how many fail, how many pass. So you will get track of all your runs here. So we will discuss about this login to the dashboard and login option later on. But right now, just understand this, it will provide you the results of different runs. Then we have this settings section here and we have a multiple things here like configuration node version proxy settings file opener preference and experiments so let me open this configuration so this is a configuration which we are using right now right so we can set the config from separate.json right we can set the environment configurations from separate.environment.json and we can have a different things using these particular files here and if you go here so it has more properties here for example if you want to change the default timeout right now it's 4000 so you can change this one also if you want to change the execution timeout you can change so there are a lot of properties here which you can change and once you change it it will reflect here in the 
configurations so there are a lot of configurations available here then we have node version section it it shows that which node version we are using and what is the path. The node version is used to build the files in the Cypress because this is our test folder. This is one of the purpose for the node. Then the purpose to build the file is under the Cypress support and then the plugins. So in short, this node is helping us to build up the test, the supporting files, the plugins. All these are done by the node things then we have some proxy settings right now we are not using any proxy so it's not showing any proxy settings here in case if you are using some proxy you need to define the proxy in the cypress then we have file opener preference and again right now if you if you remember that when we were talking about opening in ide let me go back here opening in ide right so here i have selected this id visual studio code so for example if i want to open my scripts or code in any other id so i can provide those details here then we have experiments section so this experiment session is all about the upcoming features which are in beta right now so if they are in beta but still if you want to try them and see how they are useful and helping you out so you can use them and you can enable them now how you can enable them right so you can see that this cross origin and session is enabled for me right now so how i enabled that one so for that you need to go to visual studio code here and in cypress.json i have provided this flag here and set that flag as true so that's how you can enable the new experimental things in your cypress now let me go back here and we have some common options like file added these are the common options right so we are not going to touch these things here let me go to the test section here and from here you can actually run your test so if you want to run all your test just go here click on this one if you want to run any specific so let me search the section actions so now you can see it says run one integration spec so i can click on this one and it will open the firefox and execute my this particular script on the firefox and we have different options here on the runner uh, we will discuss uh, these options here later on but this is what this area has and what kind of things we can do here as well so let this test complete and meanwhile let me go back to the runner here in in, in a simple way you can also run the single test by double clicking on this one right if i click on this one it will start executing so let me see if this is so yeah so this is completing and let me close this one and let me run this again so i just click on this one and it start executing this test now on the left side it contains all the steps right so all the steps included in my script are getting executed and each steps has multiple things like we are typing something we are assert means we are validating some data we are typing something right so all the details of your test will be populated here so let me let's suppose let me click on this one so it will actually highlight where 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 i am doing and what on the right side so if i highlighted this one you can see the email is highlighted here right so let me click on this type 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 and you can see still this this particular email field is highlighted and then this assertion right and you can see we can actually traverse through each and everything and one more thing here is that we have this very good option is like before and after so before the field was like this and when i click on after so after this operation it was like this so you can see before and after from here and also on the top you can see there were 14 tests 
they all got executed and all are passed because all are in green there are no failures if you want to rerun you can rerun those it took like 22 seconds which were very fast here and then if i want to run all dust again i just click on this one let me stop this one right now and this is a very good thing here and then here wherever we are traversing wherever we are traversing like my first url then second url wherever we are performing action sappers will do exactly the same furthermore what you can do is that the very good and the built-in feature in the cypress is regarding the locator so if i click on this one it will open the selector supply ground so let me click on this one and now from here instead of you know let's suppose your test case got failed because your cypress script was unable to find any element and assume that this element was this password so if i click on this one so it provides me a complete selector and it says it's a unique one so i can copy from here and i can use that one and also this is the get option right to identify the particular element so if if we really want to find element we can use this dot get and we can find the particular element and then besides that we have this cy dot contains so let's suppose i want to say that this particular thing contains something right contains some text right so i am saying that let's suppose it was disabled right this i'm just typing here and there might be some multiple types that's why let me change it to something else to make it more so let me say it as text right so it contains text so now you can say this is one here match and it highlighted this one so that's how you can even from this test runner you can find the elements you can locate the elements and besides that we have this section here which says that thousand into 660 so now what is that so basically this is the screen resolution where this cypress is executing our script so we can change these things here so in cypress we can call it as a viewport so the viewport determines the width and the height of your application by default viewport is this right we are going with the default right now unless specified by cy.viewport command additionally you can override the default viewport dimensions by this so if i provide this here in json cypress.json so i can override this property as well so why these different resolutions uh, are important here this these are really important when you are actually automating or try to validate your web applications in the responsive mode so when we are talking about responsive we are saying that on different screen resolutions my application will be working fine as expected so this is the different features and things available here in the test runner thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial